What's up you guys, Sunny here with GeekTools.net and welcome to this video unboxing of the Cooler Master Cosmos 2. Now this is an ultra tower computer case. It's absolutely mammoth and it weighs approximately 50 pounds. So it's huge, it's heavy, it's a monster and uh, this of course is going to house the new computer build that I will be doing in 2012. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and open up this case because I'm really, really excited. Uh, all the details are down here of all the features and whatnots of the case. I'll go through all that in my video review and also after I do my overview after I open up the computer, uh, open up the box. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open it. I'm just gonna get my knife here. Now, obviously, I am an enthusiast. This is a very, very expensive case. No one really expects any normal average person to buy a case like this. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be having, you know, water cooling loops and, uh, you know, four graphics cards and whatnot. So this, you know, case will fit me really, really well. Uh, it's packed in there fairly nicely. The foam isn't the greatest. It's not the thickest foam I've ever, uh, I've ever seen, but it is nice. Take the foam bits out. And quick, quick installation guide and instruction manuals. It's all here. Nice, nice pictures. Uh, I do apologize if the audio quality is really crap because the camera is so far away. Um, it's nice that the case actually includes two handles for you, so you can lift the case out. Uh, that's quite convenient because it's just so damn heavy. Here I go. Oh, God. Ow, my back. Okay. Ow, <laughs> that hurt. But yeah, this thing. Either it's a safety hazard or I don't know what it is, but it's just mammoth. It's huge. Okay, let's take the uh, plastic off here. Wow, that is beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you can see the two metal bars up top here. Just with the little protective sleeving off. So, um, where do I start with this case? Uh, really, that's the unboxing. There's nothing really, it's just a case. Here's the front. Oh, Cooler Master, what have you built? Um, let me just take all the tape parts off because I really don't like to see tape. But yeah, it's. Wow. It's very, 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 very well built. Um, Okay, so I'm going to bring the camera down and give you guys a closer look at it, so one second. Alright guys, and now we are back with the overview part of this unboxing. So I've just taken it out of the box, I've moved it upstairs so you guys got a bit better lighting because the basement lighting was just crap. So now you can see the case a little bit better. Uh, the camera that I've got mounted here is actually on my bed. I got the whole tripod set up on my bed so everything's a bit all messed up. Uh, but even if it's on my bed, it, I still can't get the damn case in shot. So you gotta kind of bear with me here as I try to, you know, move things around. And uh, I'm really scared of the desk breaking. It's sitting here. Let me show you guys. It's sitting on a freaking glass desk, and this thing weighs approximately 50 pounds. So I am very nervous. My heart is pounding, and if anything happens, I got a backup desk downstairs, so it's not too bad. So, um, anyways, here is the Cosmos 2 from Cooler Master sitting up right here. Uh, on the front, we've got some I.O. ports, we've got the audio in and out, eSATA, two super, super speed USB 3.0s, and four additional 2.0s, USB 2.0s, of course. Uh, on the top here, I'm just gonna try to tilt it. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna try. Uh, I'm actually gonna try to move the camera instead. Um, here we go, bear with me here. On the top here, we do have a little sliding panel, which is very, very nice. And uh, I am able to get access to the power button, the reset. Oh, is that reset? Yes, it is. That's a reset button. And we have a multi-fan controller up here. So uh, I am able to control all my hard drive fans, let's say GPU fan LEDs, uh, front and top fans right from up here. And there is a little speaker built in here, so if I push the button, it's gonna like beep and tell me what preset it, preset it is on, so that's nice. Uh, in the front here, as I badly maneuver my camera, 
Uh, we have the little door here. This is really nice. So it's held on by magnets. So just push that. That slowly comes down, revealing the uh, five and a quarter inch drive bays. I'm just gonna push it down a little faster. Um, it also has two hot swap bays down here. Really nice looking hot swap bays. High quality stuff. And uh, <laughs> the case is tipping. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Okay, and uh, we do have the front bay covers to protect the um, five and a quarter inch drive bays. So, um, just slide that back up. Obviously here we have some perforated um, area here so I can install fans behind it. I can just easily pull this thing off. Well, since it's on a desk, it's kind of hard to do that. But Okay, the desk is moving. I'm not going to do it. But yeah, this uh, part comes off and there is a fan filter on the back here so you can clean it and that's all good. There is a 140, either a 140 or 200 millimeter fan behind this mesh. And there is an additional location for you to install a 120, I believe. Um, this is not a review, by the way. This is just an overview, just checking everything out. Um, oh, so much stuff to go through here. Um, I'm going to get to the top a little bit later. and I'm just Let me go ahead and open up these side panels here. Okay, as the camera focuses. As you can see, the side panels are um, perforated to allow air to go through and also you can add additional fans uh, under this panel here. You can add two 120s. Uh, over there is a special place where you can mount radiators and hard drives. I'll show you that in a second. Now the doors are actually quite interesting. They're on a hinge and to open it, there's no screws. You just push a button, the door pops out, and then you just swing them open. Now they're, once again, they're on a hinge. So uh, yeah, it's really quite cool. Nice and sturdy. And these I could just pop them off lift and they come off. <laughs> My room is extremely messy, I do apologize. Ah, there's just computer stuff everywhere. Um, inside the case, now I'm gonna move the uh, lighting a little bit, just uh, hold on a second. Alright guys, now let's check out the inside of the Cosmos 2. Now there's a lot to go over, so uh, bear with me for a sec. Um, up here, we're gonna start from the top and then go up and make our way to the bottom. We have our toolless uh, five and a quarter inch drive bays. Just slide it in there and push the button and it's all ready to go. Down here we have the hard drive mounts. Now we have five here. These are very simple brackets. They're toolless designs as well. And your hard drives just slide in there. Uh, you can also install 2.5 inch hard drives in these brackets as well. So that's nice for any SSDs out there. Uh, down here there is additional location for hard drives but uh, I'm gonna use this part for radiators. So we've got additional six hard drive bays down here. Uh, I could just take this side panel off, just lift and pull out, and then it will give me access to these two bars where I can mount uh, radiators. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, power supply unit location, there's a nice little rubber grommet around this part to uh, dampen vibrations. That's nice. Uh, lots of room down here, so really nice. Uh, up top, we have the two dual layer grommets. Now, the reason why there's so many, well, the reason why it's just so big is because this case is designed for the SR2s, those uh, dual socket motherboards. So, um, that's why, you know, we have motherboard mounting holes all the way back there. But um, normal motherboards would just go to here, and then we have all the grommets available for you guys. Um, that's really nice. Uh, so you have dual options if you're, you know, in the future you're going to expand to an SR2, which is insane. Uh, you do have the options. Uh, case is fully featured, so that's nice. A huge motherboard cutout. Um, you know, location for the motherboard standoffs, all gold. Uh, the back here, we do have the 10 expansion slots. Uh, no one, I don't think, is going to use 10, but, uh, you know, for any peripherals or switches, it is nice to have those. Uh, extra. Now it's 10 plus 1, there is an additional one on the side as well, so you know it's there, so 11 expansion slots, why not? It's a big case. Um, yeah, and the clump of wires for the uh, fan controller and the front I.O., so I have to deal with that, try to wire everything up. That's gonna be fun. Oh yes, yeah, so the case includes a uh, I'm gonna, I have to say 200 milli millimeter, uh, but I'm not, I can't guarantee that. It looks like it. So it looks like a 200 millimeter. We have a 140 on the back and a 120 on the top. So that's all good. 
And uh, the hot the hot swap drive bays, the cables just come out here. We could just route it through these grommets there, and uh, it's all good. So let's have a look at the back. Really, there's not too much going on. We do have water cooling grommets for any external water cooling. Uh, we got the expansion slots, as I said. Um, the PSU actually pops out a little bit, so uh, I guess it just leaves you more room inside for any sort of cable management or water cooling. Uh, this little, we have a little thumb screw here. Anyways, uh, by the way, everything in this case is pretty much held in by thumb screws, so it's very, very easy to access. This top part comes off where you can mount a uh, big ass radiator. So I'm, I'm going to mount a quad, not quad, a tri 120 millimeter radiator up top that's going to cool the whole system. And then dual 120s at the bottom, that's going to be for the graphics cards. So, um, as you can see, lots of room up here, you know, good amount of room. Uh, I don't know how big of a radiator can, I can fit up here, but uh, it looks like I can pretty much fit a full-size radiator, so that's nice. Um, the mesh, uh, I mean, sorry, the panel is meshed, so, uh, and in addition to that, we also have a dust filter on there, so that's really nice to see. Sorry for the shaky video, you guys. And... Lastly, we have the last side panel. I'm not going to move uh, the case again because I swear to God something's going to break. But it's the same type of design with the hinge. Uh, and then we have lots and lots of room for uh, cable management. So we've got approximately, you can just see how much room that is. Good, you know, inch and a half of room back here for any cable management freaks out there like me that really likes to do these type of things. So really that is it. Uh, it's a massive case. The design of it is awesome. I love it. I don't think I'm ever going to switch a case. By the way, here is my old case. That's my Antec 1200 and that is a massive case. This thing just absolutely dwarfs the Antec 1200. I mean, the Antec 1200 has three 120s in the front. Uh, and I mean, it's, it's a massive case. This thing, oh my god, I can't even get any camera view. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to try to fit that thing in that location, which is going to be really quite interesting. And uh, we'll see how my new setup is going to look like. By the way, I did order another one of these monitors, and I did order another desk. So instead, I will have a full U, and then I have three monitors right over there. And I have my MacBook Pro sitting right over there, instead of over there, because uh, you know, I had to move everything. Anyways, I am rambling on now, so that's not cool. That concludes this video unboxing and a quick overview of the Cosmos 2 by Cooler Master. Massive, awesome, epic case. And uh, that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. Diplomas for me are coming up. I'm very, very nervous. Please wish me a luck down in the video description. And it's all good. So I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Peace out.